Hey guys, it's Elena, and I wanted to show you three easy ways to make alcohol ink flowers in Procreate using my amazing alcohol ink brush set. So the first one that we're going to start with is probably the easiest one, and I'm just going to go ahead and select a sort of a burgundy color, and then I'm going to start with my pressure inker. And I'm just going to make sort of a mark in the middle of the canvas, just like that. And then I'm going to my heat gun. And I'm going to make that fairly big and start to take that ink in sort of an irregular round direction. And you can be pretty messy with this. You don't have to um, do it any particular way and it should still come out fine. But what you want is to have these, these infinity rings coming out. And as you start to get towards the middle, just make your circles a little smaller until you have basically erased that ink mark. And this is what people do with actual um, alcohol ink in uh, using the heat gun to blow it around in circles so it makes these nice ripples. So once that's done, I want to add some glitter to it. So I'm just going to add a new layer and I'm going to choose a rose gold, sort of dark brownish gold color. And then I'm going to go up to my metallic ink splatter brush, also within the Amazing Alcohol Ink brush set. It is very important if you are using any of my metallic brushes, it's very important to make sure they are on their own layer and not on the same layer as anything else because that's how they will uh, turn out best. And you can always go over the same areas multiple times in order to make them look shinier or lighter. Now that I'm happy with how the middle looks, I'm gonna go ahead and start tracing around these rings that I've made and adding a little trails of glitter along the rings. And this is how it would look in real life if you were to add metallic ink to a flower like this. I'm focusing on the darker edges, which is where the metallics would naturally pull up. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how that looks now. And I just wanted to make a note that you can actually do this with multiple different brushes within this brush set. Um, I chose the heat gun, but you could do the same thing with this one called light stroke or infinity rings. And I'll just show you real quick, I actually made one. This one I made with the light stroke infinity rings brush. And that's just making an irregular circle over and over, one on top of another, getting smaller and darker as you get to the middle. So it's pretty much the same thing. Um, I just uh, wanted to show you with the heat gun because that is pretty much the easiest way to do it. So the next flower that I wanted to show you, okay, it's this one. It's like um, a lily um, using the airbrush. So I'm gonna start the exact same way or with the exact same brush with the um, pressure inker and the flat inker would work fine as well. Um, and I'm going to choose three different colors this time. I'm gonna go ahead and go with a light purple. I'm gonna make a little dot here. And a blue. Like that. And a pink. So they're not touching, but they are um, close in the middle, and this will be the middle of our flower. So now I'm getting the airbrush, and this is a blender brush. And with the airbrush, you want to be a little bit quick with your strokes, because the quicker you are, the more tapered it will be at the end, and it will look like a petal. And it's really good if you go sort of in between colors, 
because you'll get some different tones inside of your petals. So things start to get a bit darker and muddier as you go. So um, it's good to just stop when you're happy with it and don't try to push it any further. But once you get to this point, what you can do is pick whatever color you want and then go to the Mr. Brush and then start to add some small circles in the middle carefully and this should sort of make the colors start to blend with each other and splatter up a little bit interestingly that might have been a bit too far actually I think I like it I'm gonna keep it so when you get to the point when it all gets really muddy in the middle here you can go to dense splatter and then make it really small and do the same thing to sort of add some dots to the middle of your flower and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing in all the three colors that I chose. Just to add all of those colors in here. And I'm also going to go ahead and do the same thing with black. Just to add a bit of depth to the inside of this flower. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. bit smaller okay at this point you could just leave it like that or you could add some more splatters so I'm going to go back to my purple and color splatter that is a different splatter brush and just kind of add a little bit of splatter here in the different colors that I've chosen These flowers can be really fun if they're kind of messy looking. Okay, so that is my second flower. And the, the last one is going to be using the color changing number 10 brush. So this one's just a little bit different. I'm going to choose this pink color and then I'm just going to go ahead and start making some very small strokes to layer this brush kind of over top of itself like this. I think I'm gonna go with that. I'm actually gonna tilt my canvas a little bit. So I'm pretty happy with how that looks. I'm gonna add a little bit more up here. And you can really do this with any of the color changing brushes. Okay, so now I'm, I think my stem is going to be coming out of here, so I'm actually going to rotate my canvas a little bit. Okay, I'm going to choose a ranger green, and then I'm going to go to my blended brush stroke and draw the stem coming up out of the bottom here. I'm just going to go over that stroke a few times to make it more blendy looking and now I'm going to add a little leaf here I'm going to darken the stem just a little bit with one more stroke here okay 
And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this look a little bit more like a flower by taking the heat gun again, which is a blender brush. And down here from the bottom, I'm just going to make some strokes. Oops, that's really big still. I'm going to make some strokes from the bottom to sort of make it uh, have more of a flower shape. I'm going to take the streaky edge bleed and just add a little bit more blending here. Okay, so those were my three flowers, and um, I hope that you find them as easy to make as I do, and if you have any questions, I will be happy to help. Let me know.